introducing the non-starters for the Richland Bombers. They are number two, Ryan Kriskovich. Number four, Ben Fuel. Number five, Jacob Kreutz. Number 12, Connor Hofstad. Number 20, Pierce Thompson. Number 30, Matthew Cup. And number 32, Kirby Robertson. And now let's meet the starting five for these two teams. First of all, for Mount Rainier, at guard, the 5 10 senior. Number two, Emmanuel Debrusa Pierre. Guarding at guard for Richland, the 5 10 senior. Number three, Dehanye Geis. with light, with uh, dark blue numerals and trim out on the floor already. In the center circle to tip it off, it'll be Adel Hidego and Garrett Stroyford. All right, opening tip off is in the air and it will be controlled immediately by Mount Rainier. And the tip goes right to Gazabara and he'll take it to the window and did not get the bucket to go, but a whistle and a foul on Jack Schuster. And that's a design play on the tip off. Fantastic. And the foul instead will go on Cody Sanderson, not Jack Schuster. This will be a shooting foul, so at the line will be the 5'10 senior, Kazabara. And the free throw is up and good for the 5'10 senior. So on the tip-off, it was a great play by Hidego. He tipped it right to the right wing in front court for Mount Rainier, and that's exactly where Gazabara was, and he took it straight to the glass and drew the foul. Bombers inbound. Get it to Northrop. Up to Geis. Geis stops, pops just inside the free throw line, and buries the 10-footer. Tied 2-2, two to two, 7.45 remaining in the first. On the right wing. It's Bell. Bell's going to take it down to the baseline on the dribble penetration move. Shot wouldn't go. Rebound to Stroyford. Stroyford ahead to Northrop. Northrop down left corner. Almost lost the ball out of bounds. Takes it into the lane. Running one-hander. Bracket and up. Schuster tips the rebound out. It goes to Sanderson. To the top of the key to Stroyford. Stroyford inside to the window. Lays it in with the left hand. Nice move by Garrett Stroyford. Averages about 13.4 per game. Bombers lead it 4-2. 7-15 remaining in the first quarter. Out on the left side. Ricky Bell. Bell. Pops it over to the right wing, and the pass is going to go baseline. Oh, safe from going out of bounds by Hidego. Almost turned it over. Work it back outside to Gazabara. Top of the lane, being guarded by Sanderson. He'll stop for the three straight away. No good. And there was some contact, but the rebound is going to be held by Mount Rainier. We get a whistle and a shot clock problem. The shot clock was not re Oh, no, it's a foul. It's a foul on the Bombers instead. No, no, we reset the shot clock to 32. I thought he was calling a foul on number 32, which the uh, Bombers have, but Kirby Robertson's on the bench. Inbounds pass goes to Bell. And Bell's going to reset out front. Geist now on him. 
Passes off on the right wing to Robert Wright. Wright, 5'10", junior. Work it over on the left side to Bell. Bell will stop for the three over Geis. No, a wild shot off the backboard, but gets his own rebound, falling out of bounds, throws it off of Geis, and it goes out of play. So it will be Mount Rainier basketball on the left side. Another second point opportunity for him. On the left wing, Garab Gebrazaber. Gebrazaber. That's a tough one. Shot wouldn't drop. Rebound comes down to Norther. Working ahead to Sanderson. He gets the breakaway lay-in. Cody Sanderson. So the Bombers get six points on the board with 6-10 remaining in the first quarter. 6-10 KONA, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco. Ricky Bell over the Cyclops of the midcourt stripe. Court's a little bit longer on the Tacoma Dome. Working to the right elbow to Nelson. Nelson passes back outside to Gebra Zauber and a whistle and a foul. This may go on Northrop. Coming in on help defense. Yep, it goes on Northrop. That'll be his first. And inbounding side court. Uh, it's going to be Colton Lurwick, six foot two junior, just checked in. Lurwick sends it out to Ricky Bell. Bell sets up top of the key. Passes off on the right side to Gebra Zauber. Gebra Zauber between the leg dribble. Stryford's now on him. Works it into the lane on the dribble penetration. Offensive foul. Oh, my goodness. He collided under the basket. Stryford lost him on the dribble penetration, but Northrop was right there to draw the foul. And Northrop smarting a little bit. He got hit right in the noggin. The foul will go on Gebra Zauber, and that will be his first. And the first team foul called on Mount Rainier. Bombers with two team fouls. 5.41 remaining in the first quarter. 6-2. Bombers lead it. Stryford gives it to Geis. Geis over the timeline. Runs right into Bell defensively. And backs it way out near the midcourt stripe to Stryford. Left side to Sanderson. Over to Geis on the wing. To Stryford coming down the lane. Gets to the window. Leaned it off the window too high. It wouldn't go. And the rebound comes down to Lurwick for Mount Rainier. Lurwick over on the right side. Open for the three. Shot wouldn't go for right. And the rebound under the basket goes to Lurwick. Lurwick back outside on the wing to right for a three. This one won't drop. And Sanderson gets the rebound. Schuster had it for a minute, but it's stolen by Hedego. Over the left side, Bell for the three. It wouldn't go. Really cold from outside right now for Mount Rainier. Rebound. Bombers have it. Sanderson at the free throw line with a fadeaway jumper. Cody Sanderson, his second bucket of the day. 8-2. to two. Richland on top. 4.50 remaining in the first quarter. A great start at the state tournament for Richland, considering their close loss to Mount Si on the road and the devastating defeat at the Spokane Arena to G Prep. They look pretty good. Feed the cutter down the lane. Gebra Zomber lays it up and in. Beautiful pass by Lurwick on the baseline to feed the cutter. Gebra Zomber now with four this afternoon. Northrop running one-hander in the lane. Boy, that was well defended. Hidego was right there, their shot blocker, but he made it count. First bucket for Northrop. 10-4. to four. Bombers by six. 4.15 remaining in the first quarter. Bell works around a high screen, but didn't lose Geis. Oh, Geis on the reach in. Trying to get the basketball away. Dehanye Geis will pick up his first personal foul. Inbounding side court across the way. And we may get a timeout here. We do. So we will take a full one minute timeout with 4-10 remaining in the first quarter. Richland 10, Mount Rainier 4. 4-10 remaining in the first quarter. Richland 10, Mount Rainier 4. All right, inbound pass goes to Bell, and Bell working on Geis. Goes around a high screen to the right elbow. Passes back behind him to right. Right backs it out near the midcourt stripe. Shot clock at 23, game clock 356 in the first quarter. Bombers send in Connor Hofstead off the bench after that timeout. Working on the left wing to Gebra Zauber. He'll take it baseline. Puts up the shot. About a seven-footer off the side of the backboard. No good. Good defense by Sanderson. Up to Northrop. Northrop was tripped, but no foul on Gebra Zauber. Back outside to Sanderson. To Northrop for a three. Left angle. It rimmed out. It wouldn't stay in the hopper. And the rebound comes down to Ricky Bell. Bell, top of the key. 
to the right elbow. Pull up jumper. It's not going to drop. Rebound on the baseline. Gebrezover has it. He tried a little reverse lane and wouldn't go. Bombers get the rebound. Sanderson up ahead to Northrop. Lays it up and in on the fast break. Great pass down court for the easy bucket. 12-4. to four. Bombers on top. On the right wing. Robert Wright. Wright passes over on the left side to Colton Lurwick, who will shoot the three. Off the rim, it came up way short. Ball out of bounds, baseline, and it went off Sanderson. He was trying to grab it. He just couldn't hold on to it and lost it on the baseline, and it will be uh, Mount Rainier basketball. Looks like Sanderson will check out, and into the lineup, Ryan Kriskovich. Crisco comes into the game for the Richland Bombers. Inbounds pass goes out to Bell. Bell guarded by Geis. Bombers been switching off him a little bit. Working underneath to Hedego. Hedego works the low block right. Puts up the shot. It's about a four-footer. Climbs over the rim and off the other side. Rebound to Stroyford. Stroyford over to Northrop. To Stroyford right side of the lane. Underneath the basket to Hofstedt. Lays it in. There was contact. No foul. Shot wouldn't drop. Rebound comes down to Hedego. Hedego up to Bell. Bell with a slow dribble over the midcourt stripe. That's where Geis meets him. Takes it over the right wing. Lob pass to Hedego at the rim. Oh, the shot wouldn't go on the alley-oop. But a whistle and a foul, and this one will go on Connor Hofstad. Mm, may have hooked him a little bit. May have slowed him down just a little bit. At the line, shooting two is Chadel Hedego. Two. Free throw is up, and it is good. The good free throw shooting too. team, Mount Rainier, is mainly because that's part of their, their M.O. That's what they like to do is get into you, draw the foul, maybe make the bucket too. And that's the first point for Yadel Hidego. And he'll line up for one more. It's good. Good looking free throw shooter. 12 to 6, Bombers by 6. 2.22 remaining in the first quarter. Bombers inbound, little full court trap. Get it up to Kriskovich into front court. Left side corner, Northrop 3. No, it won't go. Over the rim on the other side, picked up by Schuster. Schuster gives it up to Geis on the baseline to Stroyford. Stroyford had the ball tipped. It's loose on the floor. It's going to be picked up by Gebra Zauber. And he'll work it over on the left wing to Wilkins Doles, who just checked in. Six foot two wing. Over the right side to get Brazauer. Takes it on the dribble drive, and we get a whistle and a mystery foul. That's going to be called on Colton Northrup. Calling a push. And if so, that will be number two on Northrup. And it is. And he'll sit down, and coming back in will be Cody Sanderson. The officials give the sign of the foul to the other side of the court at Tacoma Dome, the way we're set up. Media is on the other side from the scorer's table. It's hard to pick up the call sometime. Nelson, round the top of the key, sends it left side to Bell. Bell to Hidego on the baseline, will shoot from 14. It's no good. Ball volleyball out of bounds. It will be Richland Ball. 137 remaining here in the first quarter. 12-6. to six. Bombers lead it. Bombers turn the ball over in front court on the baseline, trying to send it in deep to Stroyford, and it goes back over to Mount Rainier. So Mount Rainier will work it to the baseline to Hedega. Oh, threw that one away. That was a pass from Gebrezauber out high down on the baseline to Hedego. Never really touched it. Goes out of bounds. Bombers will inbound in backcourt with Kriskovich. A little full court pressure, and they get it in to Kump. Matthew Kump off the bench now for Richland. Bombers going deep into the bench to Kriskovich. Bounce pass to Geis. Geis on the left side, left-handed dribble, almost lost it to Sanderson, top of the key. Sanderson backs it out near the midcourt stripe. 
trying to get that floor spacing just right. One minute, one minute remaining in the opening quarter. Sanderson fakes the three, passes left side to Geis. Geis in the lane, shot blocked by Hidego. A lot of contact, no foul. Bill, alley to Hidego, hanging little jumper from four. No, nope, the teardrop wouldn't go. Rebound, Kump. Up to Kriskovich. Kriskovich to Sanderson. Sanderson outside on the wing, left side. To Kump at the free throw line. Underneath the basket to Schuster. He is fouled. The Bombers finally get a foul underneath the basket. And that's going to put Schuster at the free throw line to shoot a couple. The question is, which of three players will it go on? Ricky Bell will pick up the personal foul. That will be the first on Bell, and only the second team foul on Mount Rainier. At the line, free throw is good. And for Geis, that would be his third point of the afternoon. Free throw on the way, and check that. It was Schuster, I'm sorry. Schuster at the free throw line. Made the first, missed the second. That was the first point for Schuster. Rebound comes down to Mount Rainier. Work it on the right side to Gabriel Zauber. He takes it baseline, reverse lay in. Oh, what a pretty play. That was a highlight real play for Emmanuel Gabriel Zauber, the 5'10 senior. Bombers get it to Geist, to Schuster, right side, lays it up and in. Great play by Geist, drawing the defense to him, coming down the lane. Left Schuster open baseline. On the dribble drive, Gabriel Zauber all the way through traffic in the lane to the window. Shot wouldn't go at the horn. So the Bombers with a very impressive start to the tournament here. Coming out playing Bomber basketball, which we really haven't seen now for the last two games. At the end of the first quarter, Richland 15, Mount Rainier 8. Second quarter about to get underway, 15 to 8 on the scoreboard as the Bombers lead Mount Rainier. Bombers get it to Schuster along the right side of the lane. Back outside to Sanderson for the open three. Shot wouldn't go. Rebound is loose in the lane. Stroyford able to tip it back out on the wing to Sanderson. Left side. Reset the offense. 7.43 until halftime. Geis lost the ball. Right side. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. It will be Bomber basketball. Last touch by Michael Nelson of Mount Rainier. Bombers inbound side court. Leading by seven. In the lane, pass from Schuster goes to Stroyford for the easy lay and nice assist by Jack Schuster at the second bucket of the game for Garrett Stroyford. Bombers up by nine, 17 to eight. 719 remaining in the first half. Out of the top of the key, Doles. Doles takes it on the dribble drive around a screen. Able to get to the glass, but overlaid it. Shot wouldn't drop. Rebound comes down to Sanderson. Up into front court to Northrop. And a blocking foul is called as Northrop went in strong against Ricky Bell. Could this be number two on Ricky Bell? I can't quite see the call. Yep. Bell picks up number two. That's a big foul. A call from James Rothwell out of the Tri-Cities and at the line, Northrop shooting two. Northrop shot good. That'll be his fifth point of the afternoon. Second free throw bouncing, bouncing. Whoa, it went in. And the Bombers lead it by 11 with seven minutes remaining in the first half. 19 to 8, Richland over Mount Rainier. Out to the top of the key, Gebra Zauber takes it to the right side. And Bell has checked out of the lineup after picking up his second personal foul. Kind of like the quarterback on the floor runs the offense over to Nelson for the three. He cannot hit from outside. Rebound comes down to Schuster, up to Geis. Geis goes all the way to the basket into a triple team, lost the basketball. It's Gebra Zauber, coast to coast, shot blocked under the basket. May have been Northrop. Stroyford was there too. Bombers get the ball to Geis, and he is fouled coming into front court. Robert Wright gets called for the bump. And this will be team foul number four only for Mount Rainier. The Bombers with five team fouls. Kriskovich will check in. Geis is going to check out. And the Bombers will inbound. Looks like uh, Northrop may be sitting down. And Matthew Kump will return now for Richland. 
And the Bombers will inbound side court just down from our broadcast location. Sanderson now between the circles over to Kriskovich on the right wing. Back to Sanderson. Left elbow extended. Goes to the dribble and passes off to Stroyford. Stroyford in the lane to Kump. Kump back out to Stroyford on the baseline. Fadeaway jumper off the iron. No good. Rebound tipped by Kriskovich. Schuster picks it up. Gives it to Stroyford. Stroyford right under the basket. Shot would not go and we get a whistle and a loose ball foul and this may go on Schuster. Yep, goes on Schuster on the loose ball. Now that's team foul number six on Richland. One away from putting Mount Rainier into the bonus. Out on the right side, Robert Wright. Wright takes it to the left elbow. Passes back out top of the key to Gebrezava. Right side to Nelson for the three. They still can't buy a three-pointer. Rebound comes down to Kump and he'll tip it over to Kriskovich. Kriskovich. Works it in the lane to Stroyford, under the basket to Schuster, cutting from left to right, he lays it up and in. Jack Schuster, pretty bombers basketball right there. 21 to 8, Richland on top, 5.30 remaining in the first. Great lateral move baseline for Schuster, and Stroyford found it. On the left side of the lane, it's Dolce. Dolce with a nice spin dribble to the basket. Banks it off the glass too strong, wouldn't go. He was point blank. Rebound comes down to Schuster, up into front court to Stroyford. Offensive foul. Ran into Gebra Zauber. Ah, that was quick recovery defensively for Mount Rainier's Emmanuel Gebra Zauber to draw the charge and that's what they love to do. They like to get in position and get get the charge. So Stroyford will sit down. Geis will come back into the game now for Richland. As Mount Rainier inbounds the backcourt. And a very slow dribble coming out of backcourt for Robert Wright. Wright works it over the left side to Nelson. Nelson, little stutter dribble, passes over right baseline to Dolce. Dolce on the dribble. Top of the key, key to Hedego. He'll go inside the free throw line for a quick set shot. It wouldn't go. Schuster gets the rebound. Really cold shooting from Mount Rainier this first half so far. Guys, down on the baseline to Sanderson. Sanderson gets bumped. And a whistle and a foul on Emmanuel Gebrezauber. And that will be the second on Gebrezauber. And it looks like he will sit down. Coming in back into the lineup, Colton Lurwick. The six foot two junior. So you've got Bell on the bench and Gebra Zauber on the bench, both of them known as the quote point guards of the team. Into the paint, Geis. Back outside, feeds it off. On the wing to Kump. Underneath the basket to Schuster. Schuster tried to shot, wouldn't go, gets his own rebound. Works it back out to Sanderson for the three. It's not going to drop. Rebound comes out long and it goes to Northrop. Northrop, by the way, ended up with. Apparently, some blood on his jersey and has switched to number 22 instead of 24. Caught me off guard. Don't remember a bomber 22 out there. Uh, let see. Schuster will sit down, and Stroyford's going to return. Uh, Fouling-wise, you've got Northrop playing with two fouls. Debra Zauber and Bell from Mount Rainier with two fouls. Work it in the lane. Oh, a little hanging one-hander. Beautiful shot by Garrett Stroyford. His third bucket, six points of the game. 23-8, to eight, Richland on top. 4.09 remaining in the first half of action. Julian Ron is in, six foot two junior now from Mount Rainier. Ron to Nelson, straight away for the three. It won't drop, and he is the shooter. He is the downtown shooter, and it wouldn't go. Guys, hanging jumper right side, bouncing, bouncing. It's going to go. I don't think it was a three, just a two-pointer over on the right side. That's his second bucket. 25-8, to eight, Richland with a wonderful start here in the WIA. Dairy Farmers of Washington, Les Schwab Tires, 4A State Boys Championships. Over on the right wing, backing it out is right and right. We'll take it to the top of the key. Works around the left side of the horn, left side of the lane. Top of the key to Hedego. Hedego over to Ron. Back to Hedego, left elbow. 
He passes back behind him to Wright. Wright shoots the three. It rims out. No good. Long rebound picked up by Geis. Geis over the timeline to the top of the key. Left side to Northrop. Northrop wants the three. It's not going to go. Stryfert with the rebound tip. Right back to Northrop. Hanging jumper. Seven-footer. Good. Cole Northrop. And a whistle and a full timeout called by Mount Rainier. So we will take a timeout with 3.02 remaining in the first half. Richland 27, Mount Rainier 8. Richland 27, Mount Rainier, the Rams 8. Richland with a just an amazing start here in this first matchup. All right, Mount Rainier called the full timeout, and they'll inbound in backcourt into the front court. It's right. Right takes it down, left baseline. We get a whistle and a foul. Oh! It, actually, it's not going to be a foul. It, there was some contact, but it turns out the Rams just dribbled it out of bounds. So Bombers inbound in backcourt. Little full court trap in, in, and down to Geis. Back to Stryfer. Up to Geis. It'll cross the timeline. Good job of breaking the press. To Northrop. Feet Schuster baseline. Waits for the defender to clear. Puts up the shot. It's blocked. But a whistle and a foul on Yadel Hidego. That will be the first on Yadel. And that'll be team foul number six on Mount Rainier. And at the line will be Schuster shooting two. Schuster has been to the line shooting one for two. Free throw back rim and off. No good. Schuster with five points in the game so far. Uh, the one thing that's impressive with the Bombers in this game so far is the way that they've been able to use substitutions. I mean, they've got deep into the bench. Second free throw is good, so two for four at the free throw line, and six points in the game now for Schuster. Bombers up 28-8, to eight, and 20-point lead with two and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Out on the right side, right to Hidego, right elbow jumper. It's going to go off the rim, no good, but the rebound's tipped right back to him. Puts it up in the lane on a little teardrop one-hander. It won't go. Rebound under the basket to Nelson. Nelson gets tied up by Stroyford, and we get a... And check that, it was Julian Ron tied up underneath the basket by Stroyford, and we get a jump ball call. So with two fouls, Ricky Bell returns to the lineup for the Rams. Also, Emmanuel Gebrezaber will come back in with two personal fouls. At the 217 mark here in the second quarter. And this is big should either of them pick up their third foul. Inbounds pass goes out to the top of the key to right. Right to Gebrezaber. Gebrezaber calls out the play. Sanderson's on him at least for now. Over on the right side to Lerwick. Lerwick into the lane, puts up the shot, draws the foul. And that may go on Schuster underneath the basket. He'll go to the line and shoot a couple. Now, nah, foul's going to go on Stroyford. That'll be his second. That's a big one on Garrett. Free throw, no good. And it didn't, did not look good either. Lurwick will line up for one more. Stroyford, left side of the lane, takes it into the paint, little scoop shot, no, traveled with a ball, oh. Bombers turn it over, 147 remaining in the second quarter, leading 28-8. to eight. And mainly because of cold shooting for Mount Rainier. Uh, Mount Rainier, by the way, and we've talked about this in previous broadcasts from the Tacoma Dome, they're shooting to the open end. The Bombers are shooting to the end with the curtain. Gives you a little bit better depth perception. Working on the right baseline. And it's an easy up and in for Isaiah Fulmore, who came in off the bench. No, no. Was it Lurwick? It was. It was Lurwick with the shot. Lurwick's first field goal of the game. The Bombers bring it right back down court underneath the basket, and Stroyford gets the easy lay-in. Over the timeline, Deborah Zauber. Pull-up jumper, left elbow. It's not going to go. It rimmed out again. Rebound to Sanderson. Sanderson with a pass intercepted by Wright. Wright across the lane to Lurwick. Gets around the defender. Kriskovich lays it in. Nice play by Lurwick to wait for the defender and make the move to the glass. 
Geis inside the lane, leans into the shot. Wow, around the defender with a finger roll to the window for the easy lay-in. It, did, it actually wasn't easy. It was extremely difficult, but well played. He made it look easy. Bell down the lane to Lerwick. Fadeaway jumper from six. Bounces off the bracket. No good. Geis climbs the ladder for the rebound. Outlet pass to Sanderson. It's going to be tipped out of bounds, and it will be... Mount Rainier basketball. So Mount Rainier will inbound in backcourt. The Bombers up 32-12 to 12 with 32.6 remaining here in the first half. Kump will come into the lineup. Also, Kirby Robertson will come into the game. Ryan Kriskovich is off the bench. So some of the Bomber starters now will have an extended rest heading into halftime. Over the timeline, Bell. He has the orange shoes, so you can pick him out rather easily. Only player that does. Works it around the right side of the window. Lay and wouldn't go. Rebound. Left side. Put back. Hidego. No, but a whistle and a foul. And this will go on Schuster. It'll be number two on Schuster. And Yadel Hidego will go to the free throw line. He's two for two at the free throw line and has a really good uh, looking free throw shot, for, especially for a six foot seven kid. On the way. Good. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Mm. Second free throw up and good. And... It's 32 to 14. Richland on top. 14 seconds remaining in the opening half. Over the timeline, Bombers get it to Geis and spread the floor. Clock to six seconds. Stroyford, top of the key, pulls up, dribble to Geis. Back to Stroyford, coming down the lane, all the way, lays it up and in. Great give and go. Stroyford with a bucket at the horn. And the Bombers go into the halftime locker room with a 20 point lead. At the end of the first half, Richland 34, Mount Rainier 14. In the first half, Richland shoots 57, almost 58% on 15 of 26 from the floor. 0 for 4 from behind the three-point line and 4 for 6 at the free throw line. That's good for 67%. Cold shooting for Mount Rainier, yes, 12%, 4 of 33 from the floor. 0 for 9 from behind the three-point line at 6 for 8 at the free throw line for 75%. Turnovers, 2 charged to Mount Rainier and 8 charged to the Richland Bombers. Rebounding, Richland 28 and Mount Rainier 15. Your halftime team stats. Bombers working to Northrop, top of the key for a 3, no good. Rebound underneath the basket, the putback is up and in. Nice positioning, blocking out underneath the basket. Cody Sanderson gets the putback and draws a foul. The foul will be called on Colton Lerwick, his first personal, and Sanderson will go to the line for the and one. The free throw is up, and it is good. Bombers lead it 37-14. to 14. It was a 20-point lead at the half. On the left side, it's... Gebrezaber. Gebrezaber to Lerwick. Lerwick takes it inside and gets around Stroyford to the window and lays it up and in. That was a really good play against a really good defender. Over the timeline, Northrop takes it to the top of the key, works it on the right side to Geis. He'll shoot the three. Yes! That's the first three pointer for either team. And Geis now with nine in the game. Bowers fall back on defense, stay in the man-to-man on the right side. It's a fadeaway jumper for Ricky Bell, but we had a whistle and a foul. And this would be before the shot. Foul will go on Northrop, and that will be the third on Cole Northrop, and that is not a good thing. I would suggest that he would be checking out soon, but he is not yet. Inbounds play will go to Gabrizabra, and Take it out between the circles and hand it off to Bell. Bell on the dribble penetration against Geis. Falls down with the ball. It goes out of bounds baseline. Dehanye Geis was able to not foul and take Bell down, basically. End up losing his footing. Hit bounce pass goes to Geis. Geis all the way coast to coast in the lane. Lost the ball. Able to tip it back out to Stroyford, top of the lane. Over on the right side to Sanderson. 
Sanderson looking to Geis between the circles. Shot clock at 21. Destroy for free throw line jumper. It's way off the mark. Rebound Schuster in traffic, and he gets hammered. There's three Mount Rainier Rams around him. And we'll uh, decipher who gets the, the call here. And the foul. Lerwick picks up his second personal foul. Uh, both of them coming in this quarter. 6.39 remaining in the third. Richland 40, Mount Rainier 16. Schuster at the line. Free throw comes up short. He has been to the line four times and is two for four. So if that holds true, he would make this one. Food. Second free throw is good, and now seven points for Schuster. Over the timeline, Bell. Bell, again guarded by Geis, takes it over to the right wing. Passes to Hidego under the basket, working in on Schuster. Little fade away shot in the lane, good. That was not an easy bucket. Schuster had really good position, but Hidego at 6'7 was able to elevate and get above it. Over on the left side, Northrop for the open three. Nope, it won't go. The only player with a three pointer is Geis. That just happened a moment ago. Out on the right side, Bell. Bell passes into the lane to right. Right with a reverse lay-in. No good. Rebound. Geis picks it up. Geis outside on the wing to Northrop. Wants the three. It's going to go. Colton Northrop downtown is 11th of the game. Bombers 44. Mount Rainier 18. Richland looking to advance and stay in the tournament. In the winner's bracket. On the right side, Lerwick, 13-footer, no good. Rebound comes down to Stroyford. Ahead to Geis. Geis all the way to the window, laying too strong. It came off the glass the other side. Ricky Bell picks it up. Here comes Mount Rainier. Bell over to the right elbow. He'll shoot from there. Back rim and off. Rebound underneath the basket. It's going to go to Cody Sanderson for Richland. Up into front court to Schuster. Schuster gets mugged underneath the basket. And falling on top of him was the defender, Emmanuel Gebrezaber. And that was a, a little bit of a tense moment as Schuster kind of pushed him, pushed Gebrezaber off of him down on the floor. And this may end up being a foul charged against the Bombers here. Wow. Cody Sanderson is going to sit down for Richland. Not quite sure what happened. Kriskovich comes in on the left side. Bell puts up an off-balance leaner. It comes off the glass, off the rim, no good. Rebound to the Bombers. Northrop, outside left for the open three. It's not going to drop. Long rebound to Geis. Geis on the baseline. Back outside. Northrop wants another chance. Got it! Colton Northrop, his second three of the quarter. 47-18. It's all Richland. 451 remaining in the third. Bell over to the right side. Passes on the wing to Doles. Doles to Hidego. Oh, the pass was blocked by Schuster, but uh, Schuster must have got Hidego on the arm, and Schuster's going to pick up his third. Inbounds pass goes to Bell, top of the lane. He'll shoot from there for a three. They still cannot buy an outside bucket. Long rebound. Bell's going to fetch it right near our broadcast location near the midcourt stripe. Good hustle. Bell on the right side of Gebersnauer. Almost lost it right in front of the Mount Rainier bench. Takes it. Dribble penetration under the basket. Draws the foul. And that is more of what Mount Rainier is known for. Able to draw the foul. It'd be a non-shooting foul. Stroyford's going to pick up the personal foul, and that will be his third. So for the Bombers, you've got Schuster, Northrop, Stroyford with three apiece. At the line, Gebrezaber shooting two. Free throw's good. Richland has come out red hot in this third quarter and able to hit some outside shots. Stroyford will sit down, and Matthew Kump will come into the lineup. One more at the line for Emmanuel Gebrezaber, the senior, and it's good. Seven points in the game now for Emmanuel. Geis 
up to Northrop, right side to Kump. Kump takes it to the baseline, passes back out on the wing to Geis. Top of the key, Northrop. Northrop thinking about the three over Hidego, won't shoot. Over to Kriskovich, down to the corner to Sanderson, left side. Back top of the key, Northrop. Pulls up to the free throw line, shoots from there, ring it up. 16 of the game for Colton Northrop. 49 to 20, Bombers. In the lane, Bell to Geberzauber. Geberzauber puts it up, and that was a tough shot. It was contested, and he muscled to the window to lay it up and in. 49-22, Bombers. Ball out of bounds. Kriskovich had it, but it's tipped out of bounds, and we get a whistle and a foul. Ooh, that could be the third on Ricky Bell. It is. A reach-in foul, trying to get the ball away from Crisco. Kriskovich will inbound to Sanderson. Right wing. Sanderson pulls up, dribble, looking for a little help. Geis is right there at the top of the key, passes to him. Bounce pass back to Sanderson for the fadeaway. Left elbow, nothing but net. Cody Sanderson. Cody now has nine in the game. Dribble drive, move to the baseline. Get Rosauber's shot wouldn't go, gets his own rebound. Comes back in on a reverse lay, and it won't drop. Northrop had the rebound, but it's taken right back. Great play by Gebra to keep it alive. To Hidego, coming in the lane. Shot poke checked away. Matthew Kump up to Northrop. To Geis. Geis, reverse lay in. It wouldn't stay. Rebound to Kump. Bombers keep it alive. To Kriskovich. Kriskovich, oh, pass out on the wing. Goes just off the fingertips of Sanderson out of bounds. And we have a timeout. No substitutions, though, coming into the lineup. And Lerwick will take a seat, and it looks like Wilkins Dolts will return now for Mount Rainier. 51-22 Bombers, 2:54 remaining in the first half, in the uh, third quarter rather. Out on the right side, Bell. He'll shoot for the three. Off the rim, no good. Long rebound comes out to Geis. Geis leads the break the other way in traffic. Beach Troyford on the baseline. Layup wouldn't go. Underlaid it. Rebound Kump. Put back wouldn't stay. Kump gets the ball back and he is fouled. And the foul will go on Yadel Hedego. And that will be the second personal on Hedego. Bombers will inbound. This is going to be called on the floor on the loose ball. And back into the lineup, Michael Nelson, and it looks like Dolce will sit down now for Mount Rainier. Inbounds pass to Geis, straight away for the three. Good to Hanye Geis. His shooting touch in that second half of the season in the MCC has just exponentially got better, increased, and it's continuing in this matchup here in Tacoma. Out on the left side, Nelson, running one-hander in the lane. About a seven-footer. Comes off the bracket, no good. Rebound, Sanderson's going to pick it up for the Bombers. Sanderson, top of the key, almost traveled with it to Geis, left side. Geis in traffic, left baseline, feeds in the lane to Stroyford. Stroyford bumps, reverse lay and wouldn't go, a little frustrated. Rebound comes down to Bell. Bell, all the way to the basket underneath. Oh, he lost the ball. Contact with Sanderson. No foul. Ball out of bounds off of Cody. And it will be Mount Rainier ball right side of the basket. 56. Boy, Gary just got pummeled down there. Inbounds pass stolen. Kriskovich comes up with the Bombers. Up ahead. It goes to Geis. Geis, a little bit off balance, honestly. Ran into Ricky Bell, but Bell wasn't even close to being set, and Bell picks up number four. It'll be team foul number five on Mount Rainier. Bell's going to sit down, and back in the game will be Robert Wright for Mount Rainier. Lerwick is going to check back in for Mount Rainier, and Nelson will take a seat. Bombers are going to go to the bench with Kirby Robertson coming in for Dehanye Geis. I think Geis wanted to play some more. He'll, he'll have another chance. There's a full frame remaining. Bombers up 54-22. Sanderson left side for the three. Oh, it hopped out of the hopper. No good. Rebound pops over to the left side of the lane. Picked up by Wright. Robert Wright from Mount Rainier. Wright's going to take it all the way in for the lay-in. Count the bucket. He's fouled. Kirby Robertson will be called for the foul. And an and one coming for Robert Wright. That's his first bucket of the game. That's the ball. First, 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 
That was a hard foul. Dalton Walker back into the game to replace Gary Swartford for Richland. One shot for right. Free throws good. 54, 25, 134. Inbounds pass for the Bombers. Oh, a whistle and a foul. They were going to Sanderson on the long inbounds pass, and Cody got tripped up by Emmanuel Gebrezaber, and the foul will go on Emmanuel. And Sanderson getting up a little bit gingerly, maybe right ankle, not so happy after that fall. Northrop inbounds, and he'll get it to Sanderson in backcourt. Sanderson gets it up to Kriskovich. Back to Sanderson, right side. To Northrop on the wing. Northrop into a double team, spins out of it around a cump screen. To Sanderson on the left side. Top of the key to Northrop for the three. It's not going to go. Rebound under the basket. Kump will save it. Gets it to Robertson on the wing. Robertson back to Northrop. Northrop, little spin dribble. Gets the basket. Huge collision. Draws the foul. And will go to the line for a three-point play. Everything uh, has worked. I, you know, for a coach, you try to look for things that you need to improve on. And... Uh, maybe the Bombers threw a couple of passes out of bounds. Uh, other than that, ball security, you know, I, everything else has really clicked. Free throw is going to be good for Northrop. It's converting the three-point play. 57-25 Richland with one minute. One minute remaining in the third quarter. Into front court. Gebrezauber. And he'll work against Sanderson there. Puts it out top of the key to right. Right on the exchange, back to Gebra Zauber. Right elbow, goes to the left hand on the dribble, spins in the lane, leans into the shot, little finger roll, no, it won't go. Kump gets the rebound. Kump up to Northrop, to Robertson on the baseline. Outside to Sanderson for the three, good! Left corner for Cody. 60-25, Bombers, 27 seconds remaining in the third. Dribble drive for Gebrezauber, gets in deep, lost the ball, it's picked up by the Bombers. Up to Robertson for the lay and it wouldn't go, but the dunk on the miss, two-handed flush, Matthew Kump. His first bucket of the game, 62-25, Richland, 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. Left side, open for a three, Mitchell Henry, that one wouldn't go. Henry dives inside the lane, gets his own rebound, it's out of bounds, baseline to Mount Rainier. 62 to 25. Never would have thought. Inbounds pass right under the basket for the easy shot for Hidego at the horn. At the end of three, the Richland Bombers 62, Mount Rainier Rams 27. 28 points in the quarter for the Richland Bombers. Richland gets 11 from Northrop, 7 from Sanderson, and 6 from Geis. Heading into the fourth quarter, 62-27, Richland. Bombers get it to Geis, and he'll take it over the timeline. We're getting left side to Sanderson. Sanderson stuck in a double team. Takes it to the dribble, able to get down to the baseline. Ball is going to be stolen out. No, it goes out of bounds. Off of... That's going to go off Robert Wright to Mount Rainier. And honestly, for the Rams, it's just been horrific shooting. And they've had open shots. Inbounds pass to Northrop for another three. His third of the game. 22nd point of the contest. Bombers fall back in that man-to-man defense. Sanderson guarding Gebrezov around high. Bell remains on the bench with four. Into the paint to Nelson. Nelson works his way around Strafer, puts up the shot, wouldn't go, but got his own rebound and puts it back up and in. Tenacious play by Michael Nelson, known for his outside shooting. He gets one in the paint. Inbounds pass to Northrop. Beats up to, Sh- to Schuster. Left side to Sanderson for the three. It won't go. Rebound. Strafer in the lane. Tips it. Can't hold on. And it goes back over to Mitchell Henry for the Rams. To Gebrezauber, all the way to the baseline, laid it up and in, high off the window. Tough shot. And uh, Bombers may have 
turned this one over in backcourt. They did lose the ball on the baseline. And uh, they credit the defense by Emmanuel Gebrzauber for uh, causing that miscue. So if you're a coach, I guess you can work again. Ball security issues. That's about it. Left side. It's Gebrzauber. Top of the key. Open for the three. Right puts it up. It wouldn't go. But the... Oh, no, wait, it did. It hopped off the rim and bounced in. Wow, that was unlikely. It looked like a miss. Strayford takes it into front court. Baseline lays it up off the left side of the glass. Kind of matador defense that time for Mount Rainier. 6.27 remaining, 67-34. to 34. Bombers. Left side, Gebersauber for the three. It won't go. Rebound tipped on the baseline. Goes right to right. And he stepped on the baseline out of bounds. So the Rams turn it back over. Brian Bristovich, number five, Jacob Freund. Nice job, guys. Bombers inbound, left side of the basket with 6.18 remaining in backcourt. And they get it into Pierce Thompson. Thompson up to Robertson. Robertson, bounce pass across the lane. Great pass to Hofstad, lays it in. 6.10 left to go. 6.10 KONA. Kennewick, Richland, Pasco. Dribble drive and a spin move to the basket. Gebrzauber, shot wouldn't go, but he'll go to the line and he'll shoot a couple. Team foul number five now on the Richland Bombers. And Gebrzauber at the line is three for four. Oh, we'll get a timeout first. And let's see if this is a full one-minute timeout. It appears it will be a one-minute timeout. 6.04 remaining, Richland 69, Mount Rainier 34. I'm at the line, Gibbers Auburn makes the first free throw and lines up for number two, and it's on the way. Rattles the rim, drops through. 6.04 remaining, Bombers 69, Rams 36. Inbounds pass will go to Thompson and Thompson in a double team, and he may have stepped side court out of bounds across the way. There is a lot of digging and scratching and clawing trying to get the basketball away out there. This is uh, it's been a rough contest. The Bombers, though, have handled every aspect of the pressure from Mount Rainier. Unlike what we saw from uh, Mount Sy and G Prep. Pass on the baseline, Gebrzauber trying to get it. It looks like an alley-oop to Nelson, but it ends up going out of bounds. And the Bombers will inbound in backcourt. Kriskovich looking, looking, sends it up, gets it to Thompson, and Thompson is bumped by Mitchell Henry, and that'll be team foul number seven, so we'll go one and one shooting from here on out for the Richland boys. Richland boys with the victory will be moving into a matchup at 12-15 tomorrow against Federal Way. That will be a quarterfinal game tomorrow. Wilkins Doyce, Doles that is, will be checking back into the lineup now for the Mount Rainier Rams. At the line, shooting one and one for Richland will be Pierce Thompson. Studies the basket, couple of dribbles, sight shoots, good. So Thompson, a six foot four senior, will line up for one more. Next game on the schedule here is Kent Ridge and Battleground on the boys' side. At the line, Thompson, one more. Perfect. 71-36, Richland. 5.46 left to play. Post game coming up, fifth quarter. And we'll talk with the coach. Hopefully we'll have a couple of the players come over and join us. Talk about the... Matchup with Federal Way tomorrow. On the left side, open for the three. Nelson hasn't been able to get a bucket from outside. Kriskovic the rebound. Up to Robertson. Robertson baseline. Passes back outside on the wing. And the open shot for Hofstad for a three. Connor nails it from outside. 74-36, Richland. 5-16 remaining. On the assist from Kriskovic.
Ben. Welcome to the show. Top of the key. It's Dolce. Over to Nelson. Back to the top. Reset with right. Right dribble in the lane. Caught a little shoulder going through traffic, and he'll go to the free throw line and shoot a couple. May have been Robertson, but um, it's going to go on Hofstad. Hofstad will pick up number two at the line. Robert Wright, and Wright will be shooting two. Free throw, no good. And, and that's just the story from Mount Rainier, and we'll see it. At the half, they shot 12%. And uh, when we get the final team stats, it'll be quite telling. Free throw, no good. Back rim and off. Made the adjustment, was too strong. Long, re- long rebound, pops out to Kirby Robertson. Robertson, bounce pass over to Hofstad. He'll bring it up over the Cyclops midcourt strike. Right side to Thompson. Thompson feeds in the lane to Hofstad. On the baseline to Jacob Cro- No, it's Ben Buell for the set shot. No good. Eight footer. Rebound comes down to Mount Rainier. Picked up by Lerwick. Lerwick. Sends it out high to Nelson. Nelson on the dribble drive to the window. High off the glass, it wouldn't go, but Blurwick pulls it back in and puts up the set shot right side from the free throw line extended. It's no good. Out of bounds. It'll be Bomber basketball. No, it'll go back to Mount Rainier. And the free throw will be up, or the uh, jump shot for three. Top of the key, no good for Nelson. Rebound comes down to the Bombers, picked up by Ben Fuel. Fuel up over to Krutz, Jason, Jacob Krutz to Robertson. Robertson left side. Oh, I think he traveled with the ball. He tried to get a little leaner, but took an extra step. So the Bombers will give it back over to Mount Rainier. Bombers had a chance for a shoot-around earlier this morning in Federal Way at the L.A. Fitness, and it was a, kind of a smaller basketball court, and, and it was glass wall, and, and most of the people that were there working out were, were looking at them. They felt like they were in an aquarium on display, and apparently the shoot-around helped them quite a bit. They really played extremely well in this first-round matchup. Fuel. Takes it right side, puts up the shot. It's not going to drop. Rebound pops off long. Nelson picks it up. Nelson up to Hedego. Hedego back out on the wing to Lurwick. He'll send it cross court on the skip to Nelson for a three. That is the first field goal for Michael Nelson, the five foot eleven senior, and he is known as the shooter. If you need a shot, he is the one you go to. We get a 30-second timeout. We'll step aside here with 301 remaining. Richland 74, Mount Rainier 42. 301 remaining, 74-42. Richland on top. Advancing into the quarterfinals tomorrow. 12-15 scheduled start. Bombers inbound in backcourt as Fuel brings it up over the timeline. Fuel right side to Hofstad. In the lane to Thompson. Oh, it's going to be tipped away. Good defensive play that time by Wilkins Dolce. Up to Nelson, back to Dolce. Dolce on a spin dribble. Oh, he fell down with the ball, and he's tied up immediately by Fuel, and we get a jump ball call, and that will go to Mount Rainier with 2.42 left to play. Rams possession error. Inbounds pass goes on the left wing for the three. Nelson, no, it won't go this time. And a whistle on the loose ball under the basket. And this one will go on Richland, and it will send Colton Lerwick to the line. Foul will go on Pierce Thompson. That'll be his first. And at the line, shooting one and one will be Lerwick. Lerwick is one for two at the free throw line with seven points. Missed the free throw, but the rebound, ooh, a whistle and a foul on the rebound. It was controlled by Doles. And Dole's got kind of grabbed, held, and we'll get a 
foul here that will send him to the line. At the line, Dolce shooting one and one. Eight team foul. Both teams sitting on eight now with 233 remaining. This free throw is no good. And the rebound pops out of the hopper. Kirby Robertson picks it up for the Bombers. Robertson over to Fuel. Back to Robertson. And Robertson will bring it up into front court. Passes to Thompson on the baseline. Quick jumper. Off the iron. Off the window. Off the iron. Oh, it wouldn't drop. The rebound comes down. Nelson picks it up for Mount Rainier. Nelson on the dribble. Goes right at Kirby Robertson. Draws the foul. And Robertson will pick up the personal. So Kirby, I think that's number two. Yep, second, and that will put Nelson at the free throw line, shooting one and one. Team foul number nine, so Mount Rainier is now one away from the double bonus. Nelson up at the line, free throw is going to drop. Second free throw is good, so made them both. Bombers working over the right side. Hofstad back out to Robertson for the three. It's not going to drop, and the rebound comes down to Ricky Bell. Bell playing with those four personal fouls. Bell behind, uh, between the leg dribble, takes it down the lane with the left hand, puts it off the glass, it wouldn't go. Rebound comes down. Fuel had it up to, oh, nope, stolen. Bell takes it away. Underneath to Lerwick for the reverse lay-in. Oh, and there was good defensive position by Hofstad. Maybe even a better shot by Lerwick to make that one count for his ninth of the game. Down on the right baseline, Connor Hofstad was bumped, and I don't think it's going to go on Bell, although he was there. It may go on Gebra Zauber. No, it's going to be Bell, and that'll be it. So Bell will fall out, foul out of the game with a minute 40 left to play. Mm, not sure. They have Bell now for four. We thought I thought he was going to foul out, so we'll put him at four. Lurwick is going to check out of the contest, and so will Bell at this point of the game, and the subs will be coming in. Off of the bench will be William Gard, 5'11", senior. A lot of really good players on this team. Isaiah Fulmore is off the bench as well. At the line, free throw, no good for Connor Hofstad. The ball out of bounds baseline. And it may have been a jump ball. And possession arrow will go to Richland, so the Bombers inbound on the baseline. Minute 37 left, 74-46, Richland. Inbounds pass goes top of the key, and the three for Krutz won't drop. Rebound on the baseline, whistle foul, and this one may go on Pierce Thompson of the Bombers. Scrapping to get the loose ball, but gets called for the personal. Uh, check that instead. Instead, Fulmore, I think, is going to pick it up. And I'll put uh, Pierce Thompson at the free throw line. And he will shoot two. That was team foul number 10, double bonus. Free throw is good. So Pierce Thompson at the line is three for three and has three points in the game. All this with 92 seconds left. A couple of dribbles, sights, shoots on the way. Good. Four for four, four points, Pierce Thompson, free throw line. 76, 46, Richland, 127 remaining. Baseline left, Gebra Zauber, reverse lay-in. It's up and good. They really are talented on that. Put the ball on the floor, get into the basket. Right side baseline, open jumper for Hofstad. It's not going to drop. Rebound in the lane. Thompson has it. He's on the floor trying to get a timeout. No, he couldn't get it, and he was tied up. And the possession arrow goes back over to Mount Rainier. Inbounding. And Gebersauer brings it up to the left side. Pulls up for the three. Off the bracket. Off side rim bracket. It's no good. Bombers rebound. Fuel. On the baseline to Robertson. Bounce pass in traffic. Uh, goes out of bounds. Tipped out of bounds by Fulmore. 
And Robertson was just trying to bounce it across to Crutz on the other side of the paint. 56.6 remaining. Inbounds for the open three on the right side. Good. Connor Hofstad from downtown. 79-48 Richland. 47 seconds remaining. Quick three the other way. Good for Nelson. And then we'll get a full timeout called from the Mount Rainier bench. So we will step aside for a one-minute timeout. 43.3 remaining. Richland 79, Mount Rainier 51. The Bombers lead Mount Rainier. 79-51 79-51 for Mount Rainier. The Rams left angle for three. Gibbers up her shot. Wouldn't go. Rebound on the baseline. Pops down to Eric Liu. Liu, another senior on the squad, is fouled. And oh, is the ball tipped out of bounds. Actually, the foul is going to go the other way. The ball, no, the ball went out of bounds side court in front of the scorer's table. We couldn't see it from our location here with 20 seconds remaining. Inbounds pass goes to Fuel. Fuel feeds up ahead to Thompson. Lays it up and in. Here's Thompson, first field goal of the game. 81-51. Bombers by 30. Right side for the three. Banker, no, it wouldn't drop for Mitchell Henry. Rebound on the baseline is taken in by the Bombers and they will hold for the final horn. So Richland gets the victory in the opening matchup, and they'll move on to play Federal Way tomorrow at 12.15 in the quarterfinals. We'll take a timeout here, and we'll wait for head coach Earl Strayford and a couple of the players to join us in our fifth quarter postgame show. The final in this opening round matchup at the Tacoma Dome, WIA, Gary Farmers, Washington, Les Schwab Tires, it's the Bombers, 81, Rams from Mount Rainier, 51. The post game next. Final score, 81-51. Bombers get the win over the Rams from Mount Rainier. Dahania Geist joining us on the post game show. Uh, after what you've been through with the delay from outside, what happened with Gonzaga Prep, did you imagine that things would turn out this way today? Uh, yeah, honestly, I did. Like, we didn't. I feel like we didn't. We weren't ourselves. Like, we didn't play Bomber basketball those last two days. You know, we had a couple. You know, we had a couple of missed shots and like easy, easy buckets that we usually make that we didn't make those two games. But this game, I felt like we came out, and we played pretty good. You know, when you when you look at the competition that's coming, Federal Way is next. I wouldn't imagine that anybody will shoot as cold as Mount Rainier did today. Oh yeah, of course. I know um, Federal Way; they're going to come out playing pretty hard. How do you feel about that team? Have you done any scouting on them at all? Uh, a little bit. You know, our coaches are getting us ready. You know, we're going to have a pregame tomorrow and talk about them. And you know, they have a pretty good kid, Jaden McDaniel. She's really dominant. You got out to such a good start and just continued each quarter to build on that. How does the team feel, and what do you take away from that? Uh, we feel pretty good, honestly. Like um, tomorrow. We're just going to feed off it, honestly. Just come back, and we're going to try to play how we played, but better, honestly. Another 12-15 game on the schedule. Yes, sir. All right, Dahania, great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Also joining us out of the locker room, Matthew Cope. Matthew, a foot three senior for the Richland Bombers. And, you know, it's been a little bit of a tough ride with the uh, loss to G-Prep and then uh, the delay for Mount Size game, and that was a close one. But this one uh, turned out in the Bombers' favor from the get-go, and it was getting into the basket. And, and tell me what, what the key is offensively, trying to get those passes and get the easier shots up close. Well, I think the key today was against Mount Sia, we kind of were uh, limited. They played a little bit of a slower pace. So today it was really good because this team wanted to push the pace. We wanted to push the pace. So, you know, we just tried to outlet the ball really quick, get down the court, and it opened up a lot of shots for us. You know, one of the things in our scouting report, Mount Rainier, Likes to put the ball on the floor, likes to get into you, and nobody really got into foul trouble. That's big. Yeah. At the start, we had a couple guys who looked like they might have gotten into foul trouble, but they cleaned it up pretty quick and got their hands out of there because that's what they were calling a lot. So, What what do you do now until you get back on the floor tomorrow afternoon against Federal Way? Um, I'm not sure what the plans are for tonight, but we'll probably <laughs> head back and uh, take a nap or something. Yeah. And maybe watch Federal Way? Yeah. Maybe or so. watch some game film. Uh, so, uh, 
when you take a look at the the defense of the Richland Bombers and, and how aggressive you play, uh, it it kind of fuels the offense. Yeah, definitely. You know, if we're if we're getting steals, you know, defense leads to, leads to better offense. We can get down the court and you know where we want to be on the offensive end. Great performance out there. Thank you. Congratulations, Matthew Cup joining us from the Richland Boys Basketball Team. And we'll take a look at our final stats coming up in just a moment. And I want to, indeed, take a look at those uh, final stats for shooting because in that first half, Mount Rainier shot only 12% from the floor. Head coach Earl Stroyford joins us now. And, again, the final score, Richland 81, Mount Rainier 51. Thanks to our title sponsor, DQ Grill and Chill, back in the Tri-City. So, Coach, did you have a feeling that the team could get out to a start like this? Well, I tell you what, we... We've had two really uh, difficult games that we didn't uh, particularly play real well in and struggled shooting the ball and kind of fought ourselves a little bit. And You know, we were, we were ready to get well on somebody, and just unfortunately for Mount Rainier, they were in the way today. Our guys really shared it and played great today. The outside shooting for both teams was a little bit more difficult until late in the game when you finally were able to get some three-pointers to go in. But the offense on the interior was spot on. I thought I thought we uh, you know we game planned a few things for these guys. We've done it before against teams that press, and you know you talk about things and guys kind of get tired of listening to you because it's the same old thing. You know the ball's got to go out the rim and you can't settle for threes and you got to have good angles, all that stuff you talk about. And we walked through it this morning um, on the short court at LA Fitness, and you know just talked about where we want the ball to go and it doesn't matter who has it, it's got to be in the right spot and. Boy, DeHanye was aggressive and downhill, and Garrett was going to the rim, and Cole was going to the rim, and, you know, Cole found some good looks in the first half that just didn't go in, and same with Cody, but um, credit those guys for uh, sticking with it and then finding the shots in the second half and knocking them down. All right, we heard a little bit uh, from DeHanye and also uh, Matthew about Federal Way. What's your take? Uh, it's going to be, you know, they're really good. They play a certain way. They like to press very similarly. Obviously, they're better than Mount Rainier, but, um, you know, you draw who you draw, and you play who's in front of you, and they're very good, and they got really, arguably the one of the top two players in the tournament um, in Daniel. So you, you have to come play basketball and be good at what you do and play together. And I, I like our guys, and I like how we play, and we're going to have to play a good game tomorrow to have a victory. But I like our approach, and I like how our bench played today. And, um, you know, these guys have put up a lot, like I said, in the pregame. These guys have put up a lot of wins and been to the tournament so many times that um, for those first-timers on that second team today to get a chance to stick their nose in there and, and play for an entire quarter, and that was really special because they've carried us all year long in practice and done such a good job for us. That nice to get them rewarded. And, you know, Matt showed up today and played great. Um, you know, we got good minutes out of Crisco off the bench in the, in the critical parts of the game. And um, tomorrow those guys are going to have to really help us again. And you, and you started the substitution regime a little bit early. Yeah, we're still trying to find our legs after that uh, six-day off debacle. So, I mean, it doesn't come back in, in a few days. And, you know, Cody is playing really hard, gets a little bit tired in there. So we, we snuck him out a little bit earlier than normal and had a nice rotation with Cole and Garrett and Cody and Crisco. And Matt and Jack did a really nice job. And Hoff came in and gave some good minutes to give those guys a break. And, you know, Kirby Robertson off the bench was, was solid, too. No mistakes. Um, played to get, played his game. And, you know, you gotta, you got to have a lot of guys playing well to beat a good team. Um, tomorrow night, we're going to face a good one. Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations to the kids. All right, thanks so much. Coach Earl Strayford of the Richland Boys basketball team. Again, our final 30-point victory, 81-51. And we'll keep it right here. This will be our final segment. Final stats are in. 17 of 72 from the floor for Mount Rainier, 24%. 4 for 23 from behind the three-point line, 17%. They shoot 68% from the free-throw line of 13 of 19. For the Richland Bombers, shooting 51% from the floor, 31 of 61. 8 of 20 from behind the three-point line, 40%. And 11 of 15 of the free-throw line for 73%. Leading scorer for the Richland Bombers, 24 points for Colton Northup. That's about his season average. You've got 12 apiece for Geis and Sanderson, 10 for Stroyford, 9 points for Hofstadt, 7 in the books for Schuster, 5 for Thompson, and then 2 points for Matthew Kump. Uh, turnovers, the Bombers commit 17 8-charge turnovers to Mount Rainier. Rebounds, 
Huge edge for Richland, 54 to 37. Let's see who led the rebounding totals on there. 11 rebounds for Schuster in the victory. That's uh, that's a good performance. From Tacoma, I'm Michael McDonald. The final score, Richland Bombers 81, Mount Rainier Rams 51. Good afternoon from the Tacoma Dome.